Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching another motivational cleaning video. With the weeks flying by and this month coming to an end, I want to share a very realistic two day simple clean along with me. Over the next two days, I'll be tackling some areas in our home that will finish up deep cleaning tasks so that we can truly start adding the things to pull the rest of our space together. I'll be tackling our soon to be pantry area along with our bathroom upstairs. I want to get our main bathroom clean and organized. We're also adding the kids charts to add their touch before we decorate. We also have no space for towels as of yet, so I'll share what I'll be doing with that. Along with more realistic motivation of cleaning and just some dinner prep with our babies on this night. So I really hope you guys enjoy today's video. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Vantasia, a wife and mother, and I share a ton of cleaning and motherhood motivation. If you enjoy content like this, I would love to have you join our family. And to my other loyal life subbies, welcome back. If you would like to catch up on us moving and unpacking, I'll be sure to have my videos linked in my description box in order so you can watch them and just get an update. If you haven't yet joined our family, I would love for you to consider subscribing so you don't miss any of our future uploads. upcoming week we're going to be grocery shopping soon so I need to get our pantry semi set up so I know what to get when it comes time to truly organize and add the groceries in. Today I'm going to be sharing what some of our ideas are as far as our pantry and our dining room area. I am so excited to see this area be transformed and for it to just come to life and I'm excited for you guys to see what I have planned for this. Here in this area, we have a ton of kids' workbooks, my old hair cart, our deep freezer, along with other random things that we've had in here since moving in. I didn't quite know where these things were going to go, which is why so much stuff is in here, but today is the day I checked this off my to-do list, and I hope this just motivates you guys to get some things done today as well, or if you need to, you can just save this motivation for later. So right now I'm pulling everything out just so I can organize this space and just get an idea of what all will fit in here. Right now it's just a deep freezer and it's working out perfect. Before we had the deep freezer in our garage and now it's inside the house, which is a huge bonus. Sometimes Jaquin, we love to add our favorite cold frozen snacks in here. And I will not lie, it is really challenging getting up in the winter time, whenever we already know it's gonna be cold in the garage, to go and get something cold that we wanna eat. No, it's just not happening so I'm really happy it's inside our house now. Since our deep freezer was in our garage, today I'm just going to make sure I deep clean it and disinfect it with some microband. I just picked this up from Walmart. Y'all, I really love the smell of this, so I have been using this a lot when it comes to deep cleaning our bathroom and things like this. So that's what I'm going to be using today. I just went ahead and sprayed it, moved the deep freezer out of there so I can get the whole floor clean, and then I let that disinfect while I worked on other things. I originally had the white craft cart in here along with our deep freezer. However, it didn't really work out how I planned it in my head, but this craft cart has been just repurposed for so many different spaces in our home. We've been able to use it for my hair products, our Cricut crafting projects, which is actually what it's intended to be used for. But now I just went ahead and moved it out because I'm going to be using the mini craft station as a DIY desk for Jaquin and also a workstation for our kids. Thank you. 
So of course I'm going to be using our Shark Steam Mop today to deep clean and sanitize our floors, you guys. I love using this. I am so happy I bought this. One thing that I will let you guys know, because I know I made this mistake, when you are using your Shark Steam Mop, you are not supposed to let this sit on your floors for a long period of time because it will damage them over time. So whenever you are using your Shark Steam Mop, please be careful because the, whenever I first started using this on like my first couple days, I made this huge mistake at our very first house so I just wanted to let you guys know so you don't make the same mistake that I did. So once I got done wiping it down and I was able to see the space come together, which I just want to let you guys know, I was so happy seeing this space come together. I felt like I had made so much progress and I was able to get a feel of the space and figure out what I can put in here. I have a shelf in here now that is perfect for the pantry area and I'm also going to get some wall shelves. So I'm really excited for you guys to see that. I organize our kids' school and learning activity buckets according to age. Each basket is laid out with an at-home school plan for after school, which is geared towards what they need to learn individually. As you guys know, we have three babies, ages 7, 4, and 2, and honestly, learning does not stop. We have a ton of educational books and toys for them, and it's kind of gotten unorganized during our moving process, but thankfully, during this time, the grandma hooked them up with some crafts and books that lasted us for about a month, but now it's time to set our things things up so they know where everything is at. I'm very grateful for the grandparents our babies have. Both sets have made sure they have exactly what they need while we focus on unpacking and just getting rock solid and I could not thank them enough.
The built-in shelving beside the kitchen is my favorite. I do plan to maybe add cute baskets on the bottom row and then some cute decor. Above our refrigerator, I added some cute baskets as well that holds a lot of our kids' snacks and pantry items that we don't want them to have at any given time. So that's a nice way to add that where they can't reach and it blends in so well. I'm going to be attacking the mess in our kitchen today. As I said before, we really have to stay on top of this or at least prep our dishwasher to be ran. This way it's not overwhelming, but I won't lie. Sometimes it is. It's just that this way we have a better grasp on the situation. If you guys see some little tiny feet in the left hand corner, that is my baby Jonah. He is the youngest and he is literally always next to me, you guys. He loves to just talk to me, sing to me, and we talk about a lot. So if you guys notice him in my videos all the time, that's what we're doing. <laughs> Today we're making a quick meal, some barbecue chicken wings along with corn and potatoes. London and Jaden were so excited because they always try to help with the potatoes and sometimes we bake. So today they helped me get dinner ready and this made me so happy. It just reminds me of doing it with my parents. We just threw a bunch of our favorite go-to seasonings that we always use for chicken. I will have that listed down in the description box for you guys. Aside from that, I'm just going to go ahead and season them. London is going to help me, of course. We already had them washed off, so it was really easy to go ahead and get everything ready tonight. For our potatoes, we love them boiled with salt and pepper, so it's really easy to prep them. Once Jacqueline washed them earlier, all we had to do was peel them and rinse them and of course boil them. The kids love them and they always eat everything.
once we were done prepping the potatoes, I wanted to let Jaden and London just go ahead and get the corn put in and the potatoes put in. They really love doing this. It makes them feel really independent and I love them doing this too because it teaches them how to be safe around the stove and I don't have to worry about them whenever I turn my back because we practice this all the time. For some quick barbecue sauce for our wings, I like to just make some head country barbecue sauce with a little bit of brown sugar and also mustard. We use the head country, sometimes original and sometimes hot, although it's really not that hot because the kids love eating it too and they never ever complain. Actually, nobody has. So I like to just mix this because this is what my mom has always done and it tastes so good, I love it. By the time I get done making the barbecue sauce, I like to just take the barbecue wings out of the oven. Well, just plain wings at this point. I usually drain them and then I put the barbecue sauce on and just let them cook for another 25 to 30 minutes. Depending on how early I put them in, that's you know how I dictate how long the barbecue sauce will stay on them in the oven. This is what my uncle has always done whenever he has barbecue, y'all, and it tastes so good.
Once we were done with dinner, we just went ahead and made everyone's plate. I did make a small side of okra because I absolutely love okra and we only had a little bit left. So Jake and I made it and we split that little bit of okra, y'all. That is why I love him. However, we went ahead and fed the kids and we just had a really peaceful night yet again. Cleaning our sink and stove tonight, I wanted to use our Dawn Power Wash Dish Spray. I've been using this on our stove and our sink for, well, since we moved in, you guys. It hasn't been that long, but I absolutely love it. Jake one does not believe in the hype. However, y'all, I believe that this works amazing. If you spray too much, it will burn your nose, you guys. It didn't burn my nose on this night, but sometimes the smell of it is so strong that it burns. So I would just say watch out when you are using it and don't use too much. Don't deny.
I didn't realize my camera had died this night, so we went ahead and picked back up the next day. We're going ahead after church. I wanted to just clean and organize our bathroom, you guys. I usually don't like to clean on Sundays, but on this day, I just want to get this clean, organized, and situated so that we can finally just decorate it because I'm ready for it to feel like Christmas around our home, and I am ready for the season. Let me know if you have already started decorating. And as you guys can see, underneath our bathroom sink, huh, honey, it looks like a wild jungle. So we are gonna go ahead and get this organized and put back together. With us not having like a linen closet, it does kinda like set us back a little bit. However, I have come up with a little system that works for us and I'm excited to be sharing that with you guys today. I'm starting with our tub and shower. I first always like to just fold our shower curtain over the top like this. We don't have a cute shower curtain yet, but I will be adding that later on in this video, so make sure you stay tuned. I also haven't added a laundry basket to our bathroom yet, so right now clothes have just been kind of just piling up on the floor. So I just like to start with picking that stuff up and then I'll move on to clearing off the countertops so that any of that doesn't get in the way as I deep clean our bathroom because I always just feel so icky and yucky whenever there is so much of our personal stuff everywhere as I deep clean. So I like to just go ahead and clear everything off and then I'll just move on to deep cleaning. Here I have my little cleaning basket with me. I have a few cleaning towels, paper towels, window cleaner, tub and toilet cleaner, some floor cleaner, along with gloves. It really does come in handy, you guys, whenever I'm cleaning upstairs or downstairs. So I am so happy that I have this now. So here I'm just going right back in with the micro band just to clean and disinfect our toilet and Jonah's potty seat. I am so excited to let you guys know that Jonah has been potty trained for a little over a month now you guys and we are so proud of him. He will be turning three years old soon which means he was potty trained at two and I'm so excited for him. Let me know how old was your little one whenever they were potty trained. To clean our tub and shower, I'm using the soft scrub tub and towel cleaner. You can use it on your toilet too or even under your bathroom cabinets to clean the pipes. It does have bleach mixed in, but I really do love pairing this with the super scrubber for our tub. It's actually really not that rough, like an abrasive and won't scratch your tub or towel, which make things so much easier. I just picked up the soft scrub from Walmart and the super scrubber I got from the Dollar Tree. I also have some tub cleaner from the Dollar Tree and y'all, it gets the job done too.
I got this boy on my mind that I can't live without Oh, his eyes are killing me And he keeps talking about everything that he likes And I can't stop listening I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time All the time And my heart's beating fast when he's looking like that Oh, his smile is killing me It's the way that he moves and the way that he laughs So I can't get enough Think about him all the time I can get him off my mind Oh, I want him to be mine, to be mine My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him now, 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 now My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah Right now, our toilet and the potty seat has been sitting and disinfecting. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the disinfecting wipes and just go ahead and wipe off all the clearing that we once had on there and move on. Cause I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do, everything To clean the inside of our toilet, I just used some purple toilet bowl scrubber from the Dollar Tree And also picked up some Pond Saw, y'all, because Well, I think I talked about that earlier, but I love the smell of Pond Saw So I added that as well with the scrubber from the Dollar Tree Underneath our kitchen sink, we just had a lot of hair products, hair items, medicine, some of my girly products. So I really want to pull everything out and get it organized. I did find a home for everything and now everything has a place so you can't see it. And I am so excited to be sharing that with you guys. But today we're gonna to be starting here underneath our bathroom sink. And I'm excited to see how this turns out. I'm happy that we now have a space for our towels. Yeah, 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 yeah. I told him I can be a fighter if you want I'll be there to catch you if you fall I can make it brighter when it starts, when it starts I told him I would do it Once I pulled everything out and got the feel of the space, I did organize our medicine. For right now, it's in the clear container, but I do plan to get another three drawer dresser to hide everything. For now, we have the basket in my own personal three drawer dresser, and it worked out fine. Until this day, the kids still haven't messed with it, but we will get a child safety lock for this cabinet so we can make sure they don't get into this. Was a thirsty night when I first saw you. Those green eyes caught me. Yeah, it was crazy. It was a Friday night when I first kissed you. You struck me like lightning. You broke my chains and released me. And days turned into nights on the couch in your apartment. No, I am not the same. Everything has changed. Every day. Once I was done with majority of the cleaning, Jaquin came in to add our kids' responsibility chart. We picked this up from Once Upon a Child. That is where we get a lot of the kids' educational toys and we absolutely love it there because they are priced so great. However, I was so excited to add this because I felt like with them getting older and knowing how to read words, it'll be good for them to know and see things so they know what they are expected of in the moments that we are not present. 
They've been so happy having something that rewards good achievements. So I'm happy we have it too, especially for their self growth. Once I was done steaming our floors, I just wanted to go ahead and add our shower curtain. I believe we picked this up from Walmart, just something quick and easy until we decorate for Christmas, but I'm so excited we have it because it makes a world of difference. In the future, whenever I share an upcoming decorating video in our bathroom, I can see me adding some shelves and just doing like a spa theme, and I am so excited to share that video with you guys. Every day. Once I hung the shower curtain, that completed our bathroom and it made me so happy. Now we are able to go out and run errands and get the things we need as far as house supplies and maybe even some decor. We also had to fold laundry so we had to get that done the next day and then we added our towels and they fit perfectly. We ended up using some wire baskets from our pantry that has the perfect openings to grab towels and we can even hang some. I ended up using the dresser for my personal things and then with the medicine we used the basket. Like I said, I will get a safety lock to make sure the kids don't get into this. But for now, that completes this video and I really hope you guys enjoyed it and it motivated you to get some things knocked off your to-do list. Without further ado, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!